Hey guys, I uh, wasn't really sure if I was gonna document this, but I figured I might as well, just in case I wanna use it if it works out. But right now I'm trying to put a foot lock on the razor and I'm looking to reuse this pre-existing hole. I just need to make it a little wider. So I've got a drill right now that I'm drilling out. But what we wanna do is take this long bolt, slide it through both sides, so it should slide under here. And then on the end of this bolt, we are going to install this wheelie peg that I just got from the bicycle store down the street. So we're gonna see if this works. All right, we just drilled out the frame. You just have to make it like a teeny bit bigger than the other one. You can see this one isn't that much bigger. So moment of truth, does it fit? Good. All right, well, look at that. It sticks out right to the peg. Um, let's see how this looks. So it'll stick out to here. It's definitely a little close, but it does feel pretty solid. So this is a 5 16 bolt, I believe, and these pegs were not, so I literally just drilled them out and re-threaded it, so now there should be threads that it can screw on to. So you screw it on. Wait, before we do that, we need to put a bolt on. Okay guys, here's the prototype. Here's how it looks with my foot on it. It's definitely a little close. Like I wish it could be further up, but the next furthest up hole is this one, which is all the way up there. So it's not like I'm gonna put it up here. That'd be too far away, but I wish you to get some correct fitting nuts and then a couple washers and then hopefully it should work. All right guys, this is the final product, at least for now, semi-final. So we have the bolt going through, then we have the peg. I had to drill it so it could fit onto the bolt and i have a little nut at the end of the bolt to tighten it i've got some nuts there just as spacers and if we go to the other side i have a couple spacers here just so this doesn't stick out too far so this is what it looks like with the foot lock we'll definitely have to test it out once uh, some of the snow goes away i don't think we're going to be doing hand drags on this setup look at that okay guys and we're off on the bike and I didn't realize it was all raining out like this, but we're gonna test the foot lock right now. It feels super good. I was worried about it being too close up, but just kind of cruising around here, it feels pretty natural just to have my foot tucked up under this. I am quite scared to do any wheelies with this because look at these brakes. I don't know how well they're gonna do it stopping me, but I'll try one once we get on some smooth pavement. But for those of you that don't know what a foot lock is, it's essentially just a place to put your foot so you can secure yourself more to the bike. So when I do hand drags, it's uh, very unstable. If I'm doing a wheel and I don't have my foot locked, I used to lock it under here just so I'm gripping something with my foot. So what the foot lock does is it just gives you like an actual bar to hook your foot into. And then hopefully that should make wheelies better, a little more stable. Hand drags, it should help too. Oh my goodness. I don't miss these kinds of brakes, oh my goodness. But we do kind of have to try a one-hander with this. Okay, I like that. So basically, you're just taking your foot, leveraging it against the peg, and just turning. And you're just locking your foot up, and it makes it feel super secure. I think it's gonna be super comfortable to ride like this regularly, just with my foot up under here. Oh. See, that's what happens when you don't have any, ow, <laughs> when you don't have any brakes. <laughs> oh, that one hurt. That one hurt. Whew. Look at the front wheel. Yeah, see guys, the, <laughs> and I bent the peg. How ironic is that? This is just a video of failures. My ego is hurt. My butt hurts. I need to fix these forks. Wow. Well, this is definitely not what we expected to happen. This is a public service announcement. Bike still seems to be in working order. To not use Zoom brakes. <laughs> Dude, my foot peg bent. My foot lock. How ironic for this thing to break on the video I tested. And well, I don't know what to say, guys. I think this was a failure. I think it was a fault of my own if I didn't loop that hard. I uh, probably wouldn't have bent this, but definitely speaks to the quality. Can I recommend it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I definitely can't recommend Zoom brakes. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my pain in this video. I gotta take this thing inside, make sure nothing else is broken, and wait for actual brakes to show up, because at this point, what am I doing, bro? Okay, guys, well, I'm stupid. I shouldn't have used the zoom brakes because they were crappily bled. My rotor was super bent. There were like no pads left. And I was riding as if they were like Maguras. So that was just stupid. But to give you some context, I've just been waiting to ride. I haven't ridden in like two and a half weeks because I've been waiting just for a lever to show up for my pit bike brakes. I know, it sucks. So the lever hasn't shown up and I'm going crazy and I would just want it to ride, but this was dumb. But I, I should be okay, bike should be fine. Bike is fine. It's, uh, we just bent the front wheel a little bit. Nothing we can't just straighten out. Um, but yeah, these zooms, like dude, I was pulling them all the way in and they just weren't stopping. So, yeah, that wasn't fun. I hope you enjoyed my pain though, but uh, this sad mount, foot mount, just bent right out, dude. That sucks. I was going to show you guys the setup of it, but it just bent right out. Well, I can't be surprised because it's like a 5 uh, you know, bolt, so it's not the strongest thing in the world, but looks like we bent it out a little bit. I'm just going to leave it as is, whatever. This, this bike is already a clapper, so... Let's just leave that kind of on there. Should still work well as a foot lock. And I will never, ever, ever use this brand ever, ever again. Stay away from that. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was really stupid and now I'm sore. But I will see you in Tampa, which is gonna be sick. There's probably gonna be videos between then, like my new brakes. But I will be in Tampa. Me and Miles are driving down. So, I'm really excited for that. So, if you're going to Tampa, let me know. Anyways, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Plenty of content to come. I'll catch you next time. Peace.